Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, it's really my honor and pleasure to welcome you uh, to Anambra State, the light of the nation. And um, I'm sure you will be here several uh, but the one that I uh, was part of the reception and receiving you, I mean, quite a few of them, but the one that was very uh, particular dear to my heart was when you came to commission the shoe uh, factory at uh, Omonike, uh, Omonia. Because we, our government is about made in Anambra and trying to promote made in Anambra, made in Nigeria, and you came to empower us with that and with the SMEs and thousands of youths and uh, uh, less privileged uh, in that particular industry. That struck me. You are the Vice President President, obviously, is the Chairman, the Chairman of the National Economic Council. And in that capacity, he coordinates the meeting with the governors, the chairs, and with the, all the 36 state governors, and the Governor of Central Bank, and the team and Minister of Finance and the others, coordinates the economic agenda of this country. And in that capacity, I must state without a duplication and uh, that Mr. Vice President also coordinating several of the special intervention programs that the federal government has uh, enunciated. He has been leading us well. It is time now for all the progressives in Nigeria, in the real sense of the word of progressivism, to have a coalition to build it is a very special pleasure to be here today. Uh, a detour from uh, my assignment here today, but it's impossible for me to come to a number of states and not pay a visit to my dear friend and brother, uh, Professor Soludo. Uh, not just because he's governor, but because uh, for many years he has been. Uh, First of all, at some point, he, I was even his lawyer. <laughs> so Professor Soludo is someone who I think uh, you're a great asset to our country. And uh, I'm sure that uh, Anambra State will do very well. And from what we're hearing already, it's clear that Anambra State will do great things uh, under your... Uh, I think on the matter of security, and this is a matter, of course, that is crucial, it's a... The, there's no question at all that security is the first order of business. And I must say that we're prepared as the federal government to cooperate with you in whatever way to ensure that there is law and order here in Anambra as it is across the country. One of the important um, steps that the president is taking is a re-engineering of the security architecture uh, with a view to be more effective on the ground. And I'm sure that we'll begin to see the fruits of that, especially with the acquisition of more. And I believe that um, all will be well with, uh, with our country, all will be well with Anambra State. Everyone is looking to Anambra State. This is one of the major hubs of industry, you know, especially small business. Uh, I think that this is one place where we expect to see uh, very, very significant uh, contributions in the national economy. And that you are here, I think, at this time is auspicious. So we hope and pray that all will be well, that you will get all the support you need to achieve your dreams as governor of this state. And I also uh, pray that this state will prosper, that um, there will be joy and peace and security in this state. Thank you very much for the very kind welcome and for the courtesies all the time. Thank you. God bless you.